Did you use heat pad? Yeah, I use it. Um, help a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still painful. Still painful. Oh my goodness. Hey, why do you still drink cold drinks? I drink it every day. What's going on? Remember that guru said never drink cold drinks during period time. But why? Hmm. Why? Yeah. Well, it's a good question. How about let's ask him now? Okay. Okay, let's go. Debbie, you okay? Are you okay? Chinese medicines look at ice drinks as a cold dead material, not only making your body chilled, but it also inhibits vital energy um, and its circulation that leads to lower metabolism. Um, not just the menstrual cramp, but you also might be experiencing things such as like uh, vaginal discharge, migraine, eczema, edema, and weight gain. So how did the cold drinks um, actually cause menstrual cramp? When menstrual cramps about to start, the blood is more likely to stagnate and uterine lining is not able to completely shed. Um, then the flow decreases and the more clots and the scar tissue is built and color turns darker. So while uterus um, is trying to shed and realize there is a stagnation inside, it will produce more and heavier contractions. That is the menstrual cramp, and we call it dysmenorrhea. Um, if you like to drink um, cold beverages um, and bother by one of these um, symptoms, um, the best way, my suggestion is to use heat pads um, on your lower abdomen or lower back more often. And you can use uh, ginger for cooking or drink some ginger teas. Uh, if that doesn't help, I will say get rid of the drinks and then drink something uh, more room temperature or warmer. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get more TCM tips, please like us or follow us on Facebook. Then you will get the update video. TCM is part of your daily life.